How to read auras. What is the aura of a saint? And what is the meaning of each color? Now, I'm going to give you a very personal experience I had. It's a true story. I was waiting in one of the little churches across the Acropolis of Athens, St. Demetrius Church, a very old Byzantine church, and I saw three people walking towards me. And uh, they all had auras. I was able to see their aura like this woman here in the picture. Uh, she was just baptized and uh, it was the ending of her Christian Orthodox baptism. She was Catholic baptized into Christian Orthodoxy. This picture was taken by a Jewish rabbi who was there for his daughter's baptism into Christian Orthodoxy. And uh, he, of course, had no motive to tamper with the pictures, but he saw this when they were developed. This is an, an aura of a fingerprint. But um, we'll go into the auras of living things like leaves and fingerprints, even coins have auras. But what about the auras that people have? Let me tell you of my personal experience. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. Now, the auras, of course, tell about the soul of a person, not only the eyes of a person when you look into a person's eyes, but this happens to be the Holy Eucharist in the Holy Chalice of... Uh, a church in the a Christian Orthodox Church and when the person took the picture this is what came out some of the frequencies that we can't see come out in images and videos I don't think that people just like in the baptism picture people were not able to see the woman's aura but the aura came out in the frequency of the film this is an aura of relief so these three people that were coming towards me a young girl about, about not even 30 years old and two older people, all of them had auras. And uh, I was shocked. It was the first time in my life I saw a living person. You know, usually you see them around the halo of a saint. And uh, I saw them around their heads. And uh, it was because of the fact later I found out that the uh, this man had helped the girl who was poor and trying to bring up her son. And... Um, the, uh, the, his wife didn't find out. The man and woman uh, were working, walking with the, a younger girl. And the man was helping the girl uh, to, of course, support her son. And the woman didn't know, but when she found out, of course, she agreed to it. So um, the young girl at that point in time in her life decided to uh, follow a Christian, a, a very Christian life. She was baptized into Christian orthodoxy. So when I learned their story, without going into more detail, because you wouldn't believe it, when I saw them walking towards me, all of them had halos. And uh, when I was asking a friend of mine after telling her story, which one is more saintly, one than the other? The one that was converted and then converted the man to help her? Or the, the woman of the man, the wife of the man who um, uh, supported him helping the young woman? Okay, so as you can see, God knows our hearts. Now, how can you tell, before we go into the detail, how can you tell the uh, aura of a saint? What's the difference between the aura of a saint and the aura of most normal people? Well, it can be summed up into a simple statement of what Jesus said. He said, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Not only shall they see God, but they shall be God, because they will be united to God. For the pure in heart, by purity of desire, motive, speech, conduct, and works, continually qualify with light the stream of energy that flows through the heart, and that pure light fills the aura. So seeing God, loving God, he comes to unite himself with you. And God is possible because there is something within us that we can equate with God, thereby we can identify 
God, that something is his light. He is the light of the world, as he said. God's light is the greatest gift to us. It's like our water, our breath that we take, and it will take on a color, vibration, density that we put upon it. We can change water from a liquid to ice or vapor. Let's remember the saints even used to pray in there uh, for the health, healing and um, uh, faith of people, and that would happen even by the shadow, their shadow falling on people. People would be healed. Let's remember that's what happened with St. Peter and St. Paul as well. They were passing and their shadow would fall on people. The people would be healed. Or if their clothing touched someone that was sick, the clothing would heal someone. Something similar to what happened in the Old Testament with the disciple of Saint of Saint Elijah, Saint Elisha, uh, when uh, he was buried outside of uh, the gates of Jerusalem, and when uh, Jerusalem was at war with someone, uh, they would go out every night and bury their um, their dead. In in the, some of them, they would just toss into the uh, tomb of Elisha, the disciple of Elijah. And the next morning, they would see those people that were dead the night before walking back into the city resurrected. Can you imagine that? Now, let's go into the auras. Oh, also, I want to uh, remind you, the transfiguration of our Lord Jesus Christ on Mount Tabor, when he appeared with uh, the prophet Moses and uh, St. Elijah. Okay, And he was with uh, Peter, John, and James. The transfiguration of our Lord Jesus Christ when he was filled with light. Well, that's the transfiguration. That's how he fills us with light. Just as we saw with the girl at the baptism in Santa Cruz. It's in Santa Cruz in the United States. This took part in this baptism took part in Santa Cruz, in the United States in 2004. Um, so it's a reality. Yes, even today we can be transfigured into Christ's light. This is the divine light. You can't even see what she's wearing, if she's wearing anything. She is, of course. This is the exact light that the uh, first uh, created Adam and Eve had in the Garden of Eden. And then when they lost that light because of their sinning, uh, that's when they realized that they were without clothes. Because when you have that light, look at this light. You don't know what the color of that chalice is. It's just uncreated light the divine light, the Shekinah glory of God. So what about these uh, auras? Uh, so on Humans Are Free, I'm reading for you. Uh, how to see an aura, colors, and what each aura color means. Of course, the white light is the most beautiful, and the black is the worse, or brown. Now, all living things that need oxygen to survive have an aura, but even on Wikipedia, you can see even coins, which are not living, have auras coins or wood, well, not wood, but rocks, uh, metal, okay? And as we saw before, you know, even leaves of a tree that are cut off have auras. Um, what does the color mean? They generate a large magnetic field that can be sensed, felt, and even seen around the physical body. And we can all tell when someone doesn't feel good to us, like they are full of anger if they are, really live in their heart and feel deeply. You do not need to be psychic to feel or read an aura. If a person walks past very close to you, they may unintentionally steal some of your energy. And if someone suddenly reaches out and grabs your arm, they are interrupting the flow of energy around your body. Now, of course, let's take an example, the mother, a loving mother with her child, how the caress of the mother's uh, energy heals the child, makes it feel better. It's her aura as well. Now, an example, uh, maybe when a time when you're talking to someone and you thought that they were standing too close to you, you may even think to yourself, they're in my space, and you back away from them. Even this light intrusion into your aura or space can interrupt your personal flow of energy, and you may feel like you've been uh, somehow uh, slimed. Now, an aura is usually three feet from your physical body, However, an incest or a survivor of some kind of a, uh, a crime has an aura about 50 feet around them, which means in a movie theater or a bus or train, you sit in their stuff. I, I can clean this for you, he says. Now, auras are commonly associated with people. Sometimes we even use them to describe people. 
like he has an aura about him or she just has a glow about her. But in fact, all living things generate this field of energy. And we even see in coins and rocks, which are not living. Now, it's the electromagnetic field. When associated to a person, though, the aura can provide insight into the spiritual, emotional, and physical aspects of the individual. Life is full of color, and like so many other things on your path, color also has meaning. There are presentations of messages from your higher self, God in dreams, whatever the label is, but you don't have to be a metaphysician to understand the importance of color in your life. It exists in everyday experiences. Many people associate the color white with God, pink with love, and purple with royalty or spirituality. The following is a brief outline of primary colors and their common interpretation. To cleanse your aura, the best thing is, of course, prayer. Now, explanations of the aura, the color in any aura. The red aura, red auras, and what does it mean? The aura color that surrounds an individual reflects their personality and points to their future destiny. Red aura people are enthusiastic and energetic individuals forever on the outlook for new adventures, their adventures with food, travel, and other things. And the mantra for the red aura color is, I'll try anything once. Because of their devil-may-care approach to life, they often find themselves in problems and very hot water, obviously. Uh, these type of people are quick to anger, could lose their temper over the slightest thing. But on the upside, they are generous with their time and energy when called upon for help. Now, people with the predominant red aura color easily can become bored and need to move on to different interests, even in their relationship, which of course is uh, not very good. Now, the red aura people are direct to the point, forthright, and are not afraid to make their point of view heard. Above all else, the red aura individual needs to be number one. Their competitive nature and need to succeed will drive them towards success. Now, they are not good team players and they won't take orders from others. Now, the yellow aura, what does it mean to have yellow as one of the dominant colors of the aura? The aura colors that surround individual reflect their personality and point to their future destiny. Yellow aura people are analytical, logical, and very intelligent, tend to excel in careers that involve teaching and study and make excellent investors and scientists. Yellow aura people are perfectly happy in their own company and do not suffer loneliness. They're prone to mental health pressures, though, and can become withdrawn when stressed. Now, yellow aura individual tends to put their head above their heart when faced with difficult choices and decision making, and they're Unorthodox and unconventional thinkers, not afraid to experiment with different ideas and original concepts. Some of them may seem eccentric with unusual interests and hobbies. Pink aura, and what does it mean? The aura colors that surround a visual usually can reflect their personality. And pink aura people are by nature loving and giving, and they love to be loved too. They gather around them close friends and family at every opportunity. They are very romantic, and once they have found their soulmate, they will stay faithful, loving, and loyal for life. They are natural healers, highly sensitive to the needs of others, empathic, and have strong, have strong psychic abilities, very creative and strong imaginations. They hate injustice, poverty, and conflict, strive to make the world a better place, and will make personal sacrifices in the pursuit of this ideal. The green aura are highly creative, very hardworking people. They strive for perfection in everything they do. They have a very determined and down-to-earth nature and will not allow fanciful dreams and unrealistic ideals to color their world. Their, creative task, uh, takes, their creativity takes the form of practical matters such as gardening, cooking, and home decoration. And they have a fine eye for beauty and will ensure their appearance in clothing, home, and surroundings are both practical and beautiful. Now, the orange aura people are gregarious, generous, social souls. They love to be in company of others and don't mind being the center of attention or just another face in the crowd. They want to please others and often uh, the best gift givers, being very thoughtful and generous. They're normally good-hearted, kind, and honest. They are very in tune to the emotions of others and can sense and feel their pain and joy. 
and they are confident of the impression they make on others and can use this to their advantage, they tend to lead very successful, happy lives. The purple aura, highly psychic, attuned to the emotions and moods of others, and very sensitive people who have a predominant uh, amount of purple in their aura are seen as mysterious and secretive. They possess uh, philosophy, inquiry, inquiring intuitive mind, and they love to learn and never stop exploring and inquiring into new subjects and areas that interest them. And uh, the purple aura individuals does not have a wide circle of many friends, but the friends they do have are held close and are respected, admired, and loved. The blue aura people uh, are the masters of communications, the communicators of the world. They have the ability to convey their thoughts, ideas, views, and concepts eloquently and charismatically. They make for excellent writers, poets, and politicians, are highly intelligent and very intuitive, certainly have the head and heart balanced in making different decisions and choices. Now, the gold aura, our people are there. They are lovers of beauty and have a very artistic flair. They appreciate the finer things in life and like to adorn themselves and their homes with items of exquisite beauty. They do not feel intimidated by being the center of attention. Just the opposite, in fact, they like to be the sparkling gem in the stunning crown. Because of gold aura people, they will have many, many friends, but they are not just takers of time, affection, attention. The gold aura individual will give of their time, energy, and love generously. They also hate to be criticized and cannot stand any of their flaws exposed. Their main flaw is that of being overly lavish. The white aura or silver aura People are exceptionally gifted. How they use their gifts wisely is their life lesson. Silver aura individuals are bestowed with sensitivity, intuitiveness, psychic ability, and practicality. They have immense versatility, adaptability, and are capable of getting the most out of virtually every opportunity in life. The brown aura indicates confusion or discouragement, the lack of confidence in oneself, the present situation or in the subject being addressed. Dark brown indicates selfishness, fault finding, and a tendency towards deception. And the black or indicates hatred, negativity, major illness or depression, cheap, miserly, and this color is always a bad sign. This was by Tonya Summers via N5D and it's on Humans Are Free. Please leave your comment and thank you for your support.